Hi guys and welcome to another Tempting Tuppers. Um, I haven't had a chance to film so much recently so I'm sorry it's been a while since the last one but today we are looking at a polish from Pound World I want to say or Poundland one of the two, the one, it's the one that does makeup gallery anyway and this one is called Purple Glitz and it's basically a, just a purple glitter topper but in it it's got, I don't know if you can see it's got like these sort of iridescent -y, they look like an aqua colour glitters um, so it caught my eye and it was a pound so I thought let's give this one a whirl so let's go and see what it looks good over. Okay guys, so I have managed to fill the wheel. So that's 18 polishes um, of Makeup Gallery's Purple Glitz. So let's start um, with the usual culprits. Um, I've used a different black this time. I've used Liquid Leather by China Glaze. I don't like that you can't see the labels on these darker ones. I like it when people put the white labels on dark ones and dark labels on the light colours. Just putting that out there. So this is it on top of, of the black. I'll show, I'll show you this one up close, sorry, first. You can see those sort of iridescent ones in there. It's very pretty. Um, I do like this polish on top of all of these, I have to say. Um, as you can see, it's a really pretty topper. Um, so that's it on top of black. Then, oh, I've done these the wrong way around, really, but I'll show you the white next. So, um, I used my usual, my usual LA Colors Energy Source for the white. Um, there we go, it picks out. I think I prefer it on dark to light, but I do think it looks nice on all of them. On my nails today is Arda's Nails, um, Me, I'm Three. Um, I've managed to knock it about a bit so they look a bit bad at the moment um, and before turning around the wheel I will show you the grey which is Seattle's Pillow Fight um, which is this one here I think the grey looks nice because this grey I think this grey has got a sl slight hint of purple in it anyway um, so it sort of just goes with that one there I'm hoping you can see these colours okay it did, um, the top is quite a dense one, so it does mask the base colour a little bit. Um, so let's see, what have I got next to, it's this one. So next up we've got the, this liquid chrome by Barry M, um, and it's called, where is it, Glow Crazy, really nice one this one. But again, the, um, the topper does tend to mask the base colour. But I do think this sort of metallic chrome one works really well with it. And um, because it's sort of a, it's not a straight up grey, it's it's like a purpley grey. So it definitely complements it. Um, and then I went for another chrome. And this is two true Metallicas um, Artemis. And it's, where are we? Oh, this one here. So it's like a purple chrome base. Hopefully you can see that there. Uh, then next up here, we have Frozen Yogurt by Emmy Way. So it's just um, sort of a purpley, a bit of a darker purple base. So that's that one there. And then finally for the purples, I went for a very pale purple. I went for Seattle's Sugar Plum. I must admit, I thought it was going to come out slightly darker than it did. But it's very light. But I have to say, yeah, I quite, it does quite, um, it's very pretty. I mean, for this time of year, I suppose people would go for darker ones anyway. Uh, I thought I'd try it on top of a pink. So this is Sugar Glaze by Revlon. Very old one, this. Um... I don't even know where I got this. I mean, look at that. The Everything's scratching off and everything. It's one of their scented ones, but I don't think it smells really. Um, so yeah, it actually it doesn't look too bad on top of the pink. 
Um, I'm slightly liking pinks more than I used to. Um, but yeah, so there's that one. Okay, then I moved on to colours to complement the sort of the iridescent glitters in there. So first up I used, oh let me check, got to remember which way round. Ah no, first up is this sort of bluey green by Seate and it's called Ferris Wheel. So that is that one there. You can see very pretty. I mean it looks okay but I don't think it picks out as such as, as much as some of the other colours do. And then I used a foil blue uh, which is this one by Colour Club. This is a very old one um, and it's called Luminiscent. Um, but I do, like I said, I do think the foil bo the bases um, really go well with this polish. Okay, then on to a, another dark one. This is a very, very dark teal and as you can see the purple is really shining on top of that one. And this was another colour club I think. Um, it's, where is it? It's this one here. Uh, this is one that I think I got in a birch box or, or glossy box and it's called Glossy Seal. I don't know if you could buy this or if it was just for the boxes. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, so that's a pretty one there. Then we have, um, I sort of went for a bit of a medium sort of bluey teal colour and it was another Seattle Mini and it's called Headliner. I really like it on top of this one. It's not purple and teal, probably not two colours that I would have put together but because of the other glitters in there I think it works really well. And then I went for this Caribbean blue from Nina. Which is this one here. There we go. That definitely um, picks out the glitters and it's got sort of a, again a sort of metallic -y glow to it I feel this one. Very pretty. Um, next up was is that the chrome? Yeah, I can't I can't tell as well because the, the glitter is so much. Um, is a, this one is the next one and it's another um, Two True Metallica. These were from Superdrug, but I don't think they do them anymore. And it's called Aglaia, maybe? I think that's how you say it. Um, another nice one. Possibly not the colour I'd choose for it. But, I, you know, as the purpose of this series, I was just testing them all out. Um, then it looks quite nice on top of this next foil, which is another colour club. And this one's Perfect Molten. These I got in a set from TK Maxx years ago. Um, but they didn't have the names on, so I actually researched and got the names myself. And yeah, that was quite a big job. Then we've got the infamous Greenberry, oh, just such a beautiful one from Barry M, this one. It, it works with so many different polishes. Nice and bright that one, maybe a summer one that. And finally the last green um, I used was Sally Hansen's, oh, which one's this? Perfect Pairing. So sort of a... Virgin on a minty green, I suppose, that one. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the purple does, it does sort of disguise the base, but at the same time, it just picks through. And then the final polish I put it on top of, totally different, was this sort of bronzy, bronzy colour. Um, and it, again, sorry, was another colour club. And it's antiquated. Um, these were like a rock star collection or something, I think. But no, no, these, no, I had a rock star collection as well. These must have just been the foils collection, mustn't they? Because they were in like packs, they didn't have any specific details on them, which was annoying. Um, but yeah, so that's the last one I tried it on. So, a very versatile polish, I feel. And it looks very pretty on colours you might not have expected to use perhaps. That one looks nice, you know. Um, yeah, I, I think I'd wear it over quite a few of these. 
Um, I'd really like to know which one's your preferred base colour is. I'm hoping that, that you can see these okay in this nut in this light or that one. See there, I quite like that one now. Um, I loved it. I love testing these. It's so fun. So there we go. That's purple glitz from Makeup Gallery. There's the. If you haven't seen the Makeup Gallery, there it is up close. Hope you enjoyed that one guys and if you're still with me then it means you are lucky enough to see these three. Um, I picked up ooh, an extra um, purple glitz and I picked up periwinkle and dusty violet so two bases for it as well and I thought it would be quite nice to do another little giveaway. So I'm afraid it will have to be UK only still. I need to sort myself out and find out where it's okay to post to and things like that but for now it will be UK only um, if you want to win these three then all you have to do is leave a comment to tell me um, which was your favourite base colour for this topper and also make sure you subscribe to my channel um, so again thanks for watching I'll keep the giveaway open for a couple of weeks uh, because I'm finding that some people are my videos are being watched a little bit later after I've um, uploaded them so I want to give everybody a chance uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you soon bye